Hey Cookies, it's your girl Ayana Parana and it is day 15, 16, day 16. Day 16 of vlogmas and I am outside of a store where I need to run an errand so people are probably going to be looking at me like I'm crazy. And excuse me because I'm sweeping out the um the sin because I had a brownie when you all were not looking. However, this is day three. Um team no meat for me so um i've noticed that some of my friends who are vegetarian their skin looks amazing they look like they're 12 and i'm hoping to achieve that same look i'm hoping to look 12 all up in here okay so anywho um i'll make this quick um, I'm thankful and grateful for today's self-awareness. I put self-awareness and rededication. So, um, vlog is hashtag attitude of gratitude. It is August 16th. This is day 16 of vloggers. And I am thankful for um, self-awareness and rededication. So, this is what I wrote. And then I'll give you the reason why I wrote what I wrote. I wrote, I rededicate time to self-improvement, achieving goals. Um, I am becoming more aware of my shortcomings and things that trigger me. And I'm thankful that I am now more aware and can rededicate time to redirecting my future in a more positive manner. Hashtag reclaiming my time. Because who doesn't love Auntie Maxie? And happy belated birthday, Auntie Maxie. So anywho, so I was listening to um, Joyce Meyer this morning. And she was just talking about... Um, what I like about Joyce Meyer, because I, I can't even really tell you what the title of this sermon was, because I normally just listen to whatever her everyday answers are on her website. Um, so what I love about Joyce Meyer is that she gives you like practical application. Like she's always trying to teach you how to like heal and self improve because, you know, unfortunately, um, we go through this life and sometimes we get damaged by circumstances and people. And so she is, um, you know, always trying to help you to, you know, achieve your best you. So, um, one thing that she said today that stood out a whole lot, um, she said, there are things that we once were that we don't have to continue to be. There are things that we once were that we don't have to continue to be. That'll, that'll preach by itself if you let it. Let me tell you why. Um, that said to me, it, it, when you say there are things that you once were that you don't have to continue to be, if you were once broke, if you were once angry, if you were once brokenhearted, if you were once, um, if you felt like the least of these, if you once had low self-esteem, um, you don't have to be that person anymore. Like you can, you can be somebody else. Not saying that you're not going to be yourself, meaning you can heal from that, you can move on from that, you can be your better self. You can grow from those opportunities, you can learn from, not opportunities, but you can grow from them circumstances and you can learn. You know, every every trial and tribulation, whether we can see it at that point, is an opportunity to learn. And a lot of times it's an opportunity to learn something about ourselves. So grow and learn and move forward grow and learn and move forward grow and learn and move forward that's all i'm trying to do so self-awareness and rededication i rededicate time to self-improvement and to achieving goals i am becoming more aware of my shortcomings and things that trigger me and i am thankful that i am now more aware and i can redirect my time and re to i'm sorry rededicate my time to redirecting my future in a more positive manner um, so things that are coming to mind when I'm saying that and and what this means to me is when it says rededicate my time to self-improvement and achieving goals. Again, we talk about, you know, some of life circumstances that happen. And so maybe you are a creative person and at one point you were creating a lot of content, blocks, um, blocks, blogs, books, um, whatever that was that you were doing that you know what God called you to do like I don't know when's the last time I did an outfit of the day video and that is where my YouTube channel started um, I'm gonna get back to that I promise I will um, and th this is part of that so um, achieving goals like achieving goals like I said yesterday is not just about my purpose but helping someone else fulfill theirs for me it is um, becoming more aware of my shortcomings okay when it comes to achieving those goals my shortcomings are consistency again that's why I challenge myself to do this 
attitude of gratitude gratitude journal vlogist every day this month is a challenge for me because I need to be more consistent so overcoming those shortcomings and challenges in order to achieve a goal which for the greater good is to help someone else and to encourage someone else so again my apologies because clearly I haven't been cleaning out my um, storage space in my videos but anyway that is all I have for today that is vlogist day 16 I keep forgetting what day it is now day 16 um, and I'm excited we're moving forward we're more than halfway there head over to my Facebook like my Facebook like page which is Ayana Piranha follow my blog Ayana Piranha.blogspot.com follow me on Twitter and Instagram which is Ayana Piranha one subscribe to this channel and you can also buy my book which is available on Amazon and Lulu.com and it's called about love and such it is a collection of poems quotes and scriptures all about love and I love you and I thank you for being here and I'll catch you in the next vlog peace